Top 10 JDM Cars Japanese cars are a masterpiece for many car enthusiasts because of the variety of performance and visual upgrades they are capable of. Not only can you make them look good by adding your own taste, but you are also able to push out some insane numbers of horsepower and torque. So just sit back and enjoy. Number 10. The Toyota AE86 Initial D. Those who grew up with this movie will know the catch. This legendary rear-wheel drive AE86 has a naturally aspirated 4-cylinder 1.6-liter engine that produces 128 horsepower and 109 pound-feet of torque. With a total weight of 2,006 pounds and 165-inch length, it is able to reach 62 miles per hour in 8.9 seconds and a top speed of 121 miles per hour. This little corner carving drift toy is really maneuverable and besides that, they are really reliable and affordable. No wonder why they have the following that they do to this day. Number 9. Nissan 180SX The Nissan 180SX is one of the most legendary Japanese cars of all time. It combined all the elements that make up a great car into one fun and exciting package. The car was also a hit with tuners, as it could accommodate so many different power plants and modifications. To be clear, the 180SX was selling in the Japan market and it was renamed as 200SX in the European market and 240SX in the US market. With a SR20 DET turbo engine that produces 202 horsepower and 202 pound-feet of torque, it is able to reach 62 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds and a max speed of 146 miles per hour. If you're looking for your first JDM car, then the 180SX is definitely the right choice for you since it's budget friendly and a really nice project car that's capable of doing a lot of things if treated right. Number 8. Nissan 350Z Welcome to Bayview. Probably each and every one of you who played Need for Speed Underground 2 remember Rachel's green 350Z. The 350Z is a true JDM legend that is loved by a lot of car enthusiasts to this day. With a VQ35HR 3.5 liter V6 engine, it produces 306 horsepower and 268 pound-feet of torque, and can reach 62 miles per hour in 5.3 seconds and a max speed of 155 miles per hour. This car is also quite universal. If you have the need to shred some tires at the local drift track, the 350Z is a great choice for a project drift car. If you seek for that tuner life and just want to build a car of your dreams, or just simply make a race car that can go as fast as possible, 350Z is capable of all of that. So you can definitely consider 350Z as a car that can fulfill mostly all of your needs. Number 7. Mazda RX-7 FD the third generation RX-7's core defining feature was its use of a twin turbocharged twin rotor 13B REW engine. The RX-7 utilized the world's first mass-produced sequentially turbocharged engine and this lightweight rear-wheel drive beast quickly started to build a name for itself. It produces 237 horsepower, 218 pound-feet of torque, and is able to reach 62 miles per hour in 5 seconds with a top speed of 160 miles per hour. The RX-7 shapes and overall look catches many car enthusiasts' eyes and is just as loved as it was when it was launched to this day. Number 6. Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 7 While the 7th generation Evo was undoubtedly a different experience from previous Evos, it was no less storming to drive and was the first generation to really step the game up in terms of performance. Powered by a 2.0-liter 4G63 inline-4 turbocharged engine, this Evo produces 276 horsepower and 284 pound-feet of torque. It has a slightly heavier chassis compared to the older Evos as well as some suspension and engine tweaks. But most importantly, the 7th generation introduced the active center differential, which in combination with yaw controls allows the car to perform some crazy four-wheel skids. So, if you seek for a car that has power and control, Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 7 is the way to go. Number 5. Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4 The most advanced Japanese car of the 90s. On the street, the 3000 GT offers superior comfort and stability thanks to its adaptive suspension and a luxurious interior. Powered by a 3.0-liter 6G72 dual-overhead cam 24-valve twin-turbocharged V6 engine, 
It produces a total of 320 horsepower and 315 pound-feet of torque, which allows it to reach 62 miles per hour in less than 5 seconds and a top speed of 165 miles per hour, which is really impressive for its era. With active aerodynamics, four-wheel steering, all-wheel drive, and adaptive suspension, perhaps the 3000 GT VR4 was too far ahead of its time. Its complexity wasn't understood by consumers then like it would be today, in an era where this kind of tech is common. This car has almost everything, stuff that even today's modern cars don't always have, which is mind-blowing when you see a 90s car with so much stuff implemented in it. Number 4. Nissan Silvia S15 If you want a car that can be transformed into your dream project, then the S15 is the right one to go with. Not only has it been graced with good looks, but in a typical trend for the Sylvia family, it has a huge catalog of potential upgrades that sat on the shelves waiting to be transformed into your dream creation. With a SR20 DET inline 4 turbo engine, it produces 247 horsepower and 203 pound-feet of torque and manages to reach 62 miles per hour in 5.5 seconds and a total speed of 152 miles per hour. Whether you want to shred some tires at a drift track, go to a local car meet and show off that huge camber that scrapes everything from A to Z or set that perfect time attack lap, then the S15 is the right choice since it's incredibly versatile when it comes to just about every motorsport discipline. Number 3. Toyota Supra MK4 You probably heard a lot of these, since it was a huge trend and for some, it is till this day, which gets kind of annoying sometimes if you ask me. But besides that, the fourth generation Supra is a great project car that can produce and manage some insane numbers of horsepower. With a 2JZ GTE 3.0 liter twin turbocharged straight six engine, it manages to produce 320 horsepower and 315 pound-feet of torque. With an engine like this one, it's more than enough to do some crazy stuff. But, if you seek to skyrocket these numbers and create a build that flies, the Supra MK4 is always here to help you out. Number 2. Nissan Skyline R34 GTR There is an overwhelming amount of evidence for the excellence of the Nissan Skyline GTR R34. Powered by a twin turbocharged inline 6 motor and equipped with a sophisticated all-wheel drive system, this car was a dream come true for many enthusiasts. Due to Japanese car industry norms at the time, the car was advertised as having 276 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque, but it actually had over 330 horsepower when it left the factory. And if you have the budget and the need for more speed, this baby can handle and fulfill all the boost your heart desires. A true JDM legend that brings back that Need for Speed Underground 1 or Too Fast Too Furious nostalgia from time to time, right? Number 1. Mitsubishi Eclipse GSX The 1996 Eclipse GSX was more refined than its previous models in terms of looks, design, power, and performance. All-wheel drive model equipped with a turbocharged and intercooled 2.0 liter 16-valve dual overhead cam Mitsubishi 4G63 engine it is able to produce 210 horsepower and 214 pound-feet of torque. At that time, Eclipse defined power and performance for budget-oriented people and was truly a masterpiece for car enthusiasts because of the variety of performance and visual upgrades it was capable of. The Eclipse GSX practically kick-started the import car culture in the US and of course, let's not forget the biggest and most popular movie franchise, Fast and Furious. It is probably the last remaining affordable Japanese car combo of looks, personality, and performance packed in a sports coupe. Although these got a bad reputation, they were pretty good in reality. They were reliable, fun, fast, fuel efficient, and had everything. Power, handling, style, safety, and comfort. What more can one ask from a compact sports car? There you have it, the top 10 JDM cars. Which one would you pick? Or, if you don't see your favorite one in the list, which one would you prefer? Tell us in the comments below. And if you want a part 2 of Top JDM Cars, give this video a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and join the community. Peace.